Hello Chatham families, this is Mrs. Cruz. Today I'll briefly go over our dismissal update. Thank you so much for your flexibility and your patience as we try to get your children in the car safely and as quickly as possible. A few things to remind families is we have um, our dismissal for minimum day can get quite congested because all grade levels are out. So a few updates are TK, kinder and first grade will have students waiting for you in that grass area over by the fence. Second grade will be in the area kind of right by the marquee in front of the library and third grade also in that grass area by the flagpole. If you notice, fourth grade will still be in front of the cafeteria, kind of in front of the office and fifth grade in front of that grass area. We're trying to shift all the cars in so it can be a nice, smooth transition. And then TK, kinder and first in that first lane, I'll have someone at the entrance directing families to the appropriate grade level. If you have multiple grades, just choose the lane um, that works best for you. I suggest you get the older kids and then come up to the front in front of the marquee and just let us know where your child is. If it's TK and kinder or first, we can grab them and get them in the car safely. Again, thank you for your patience. It is extremely important we follow the minimum day staggered dismissal since all of our students will be out at the same time. There's not two dismissal, there's only one. So that's why we have the staggered dismissal by last name, starting at 1050 A through H, I through O is 11 and P through Z at 1110. Again, thank you for your patience and flexibility, but we have that staggered dismissal so we can get cars in um, staggered and it flowing as quickly as we can and as safely as we can. It is also a grab and go lunch day. A few adjustments also that we made is for the TK and second grade regular day dismissal. We shifted the TK and kinder to the fence area, that grass area, I'm sorry, right in front of the black fence up in the front of the school to hopefully make sure that our TK and kinders get in the car safely and it's a little bit easier transition because I know you have the car seats or booster seats and all those fun things to keep your children safe. First grade has been shifted up into the grass area in front of the marquee during a regular day dismissal. And second grade, we're shifting them in front of the cafeteria and kind of in front of the office area so we can get as many cars in and organizing you all to get out safely. Again, thank you for your patience. Hopefully those little changes help the flow. Um, and let's see what else. Remind, remember also dismissal for regular days at 1.50. I know many families come early. We try to get out there, but we're also trying to have our students get as much instructional time as possible. For third through fifth grade, we've made a little adjustment as well. We have moved third grade into that grass area in front of that black fence. Um, fourth grade, again, in front of the cafeteria and maybe shifted over in front of the office and then fifth grade still in that grass area. Again, dismissals at 2.50 for regular day. So just, oops, just a few adjustments to hopefully help that flow. Reminder again, minimum day, stagger dismissal starting at 10.50 by last name to help that congestion and, that, uh, and the traffic. It's A through H, 10.50, I through O, 11, and P through Z at 11.10. And regular day dismissal is at 1.50 for TK through second and third grade through fifth grade is at 2.50, just like our regular school year. Let me know if you have any questions, call the office, ask your teachers. We're all here for each other and I appreciate you all. Again, let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much for your flexibility and for your patience. Let's go Warriors.